In this presentation, we're going to discuss the solution method to the following PDE. It's a first order linear PDE, homogeneous. And the coefficients are, well, one's constant and the other one's not constant, it's a T. So how do we solve this problem? Well, first of all, let's, um, let's factor the left-hand side. Look, uh, well, before I get to that, there's a, there's a quick way of doing this problem and a not-so-quick way. Okay? Um, the not-so-quick way is the, the way I'm going to show you first, actually. Okay, so I'm going to factor the left-hand side. So let's call this star. It's just this. Now, if you look carefully, this vector here is the gradient of u. Okay, so this implies that, for example, if I form uh, this, make this a unit vector, then I have the following. What this says is that, that basically the directional derivative of the solution u to start in the direction of the vector t comma one is zero. Okay? So, so this dot product is just the directional derivative from a basic, well, from a course, a calculus 2 course, vector calculus, multivariable calculus, whatever you want to call it. Okay? Now, so if you think of this left hand side as the derivative, it means that the function u must be equal to a constant. Okay. It's constant in the direction of t comma one. Okay. So what does that mean? Well, it means that um, essentially what I can do is look at this vector and calculate the curves associated with this vector. Those curves should have this vector as their tangents. Okay? So... So the curves, how can, how, can I, how can I sort that out? Well, we can following, uh, form the following ODE. Uh, dx dt equals 1 over t. So you can see the 1's just come from there, the t's just come from there. Okay? I think I said dy dx before, I meant dx dt. So now it's just an ODE. We can solve that ODE and calculate the so-called uh, characteristic uh, curves, characteristic, characteristic equation. Okay, so if I uh, solve this, it's a very simple ODE. I'll get log t plus, say, k, where k is a constant of integration. So I'm just considering t positive here, okay? I'm not worried about t negative. Okay, well, <clears throat> if I rearrange this a little bit, then I can simplify. Now, I, I could simplify straight away, but let me just write this as the sum of logs, then I can use the log laws. So you get the following. And if I take the exponential of both sides here, so C is a new constant. Uh, if I take... Uh, 
the exponential of both sides, then I get the following. Okay, so what I can do now is actually clean this up a little bit. So basically I'm going to take that over there and, and just form a new constant. Uh, what am I going to call that? Say C1. So, this is our family of characteristic curves, or our characteristic equations. Okay, so. The solutions to our boxed problem star essentially are constant along these family of curves. The general solution to star is the following. It's just a function of this. Okay, where f is an arbitrary function. So f is like, you know, uh, it plays a similar role as constants of integration do for, say, ODEs or um, a basic integration. Okay, now you can check, you can check to verify that this form actually does solve the start equation. Okay, just by using the chain rule. It's easy to do. In fact, we do it all the time in first year. So what do you think? Neat? Cute? Hmm? Let me, um, let me show you something else. There is a faster way to do this problem. Okay, you wouldn't necessarily go through and derive these things all the time. Okay, let me show you another way of solving this problem. Okay. Now, note here the coefficients are functions, at least here they are. Okay, now it's still a homogeneous problem, it's still linear. Your A would be just T, and your B would just be identically equal to 1. Okay, now, in this more general case, what you can do is consider the following set of equations. And from those, that bottom line, it, I guess it's in a differential form, you can come up with the characteristic curves through integration or you know, some other method perhaps. Okay? Right, so let me have a, uh, show you how, how it relates back to star. Okay, so we're going to consider, so A is just T. Uh, DX over 1. So we can either integrate on the left, integrate on the right, just like a separable differential equation, or you can, you know, you can form a differential equation from that. that this is the way I'm going to do it first. Now I'm only going to worry about T positive here. 
Now, if I rearrange this and make just, just to make C the constant, the subject, then I actually have the following. These then are your characteristic type equations. But they're different. They're different from the previous slide. Uh, sorry, it should be a minus, right? Let me adjust that. Sorry, that should be a minus there. Log t minus x equals a constant. Okay? So if you look at that and you go, well, Chris, hang on. That doesn't look the same as the equations from over here. So how can that be? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll come back to that in a minute. So our u is constant along these types of curves. And so the general solution Let's say uh, G where G is an arbitrary function but now wait I'm confused we, we've solved the same problem a different way and we've got two kind of general forms of solution can we connect them Well, firstly, you can verify that this does actually solve star. You can just differentiate it and show that stars holds. But I'm a little bit confused about that. Well, what I could do if I wanted to simplify even further is basically simplify here with a constant. Okay? What I could do is I could write C as the log of some other constant. Right? And then use log, log laws and come up with something like that. Okay? So if, if you do do some of the problems in the back of the book and your form of answer is not exactly like the, like the answers, you still could be correct. Okay? So it's always good to check to see whether your final general solution really does satisfy the original star problem. Okay, so the form, the form of your solution may differ from the solutions in the, or the answers in the back, if you like. <laughs>